नमस्कार सर्व उपनिषदो गावो दोगधा गोपाल नंदना पार्थो वस्तो सुधीर भोक्त गीतामृतम महत इन अदर वर्ड्स ऑल द उपनिषद्स आर कंपेयर्ड हियर टू काउस एंड द मिल्कमैन ऑफ दीज काउस इज द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड भगवान कृष्णा एंड पार्थ अर्जुन his dear friend is compared to the baby calf to benefit the entire universe the geeta is equivalent to nectar and has thus become available for the benefit and auspiciousness of the entire universe today is bhagavad geeta advent day or the day when the bhagavad geeta was spoken by bhagwan krishna to arjun the bhagavad geeta is a precise summary of all the upanishads One special mention here Arjun is an eternal associate of Bhagwan Krishna he can neither be enchanted by the illusory energy nor have any doubts but Krishna in order to give us this transcendental knowledge and the love of god inspired Arjun to ask questions regarding the auspiciousness of the universe therefore Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita on the battlefield of Kurukshetra which was on today's day more than 5000 years ago today that place is known as jyoti sar in the state of haryana and the banyan tree under which the geeta was recited still stands today as a testimony of this auspicious event therefore it is very important to understand that krishna is the supreme lord and his speaking to arjun was the means of propagating his philosophy The Gita is not only for one specific time period it is for all times it is timeless it has no beginning it has no end as many problems that are possible in the cycle of birth and death and their solutions are to be given in the Gita from Adi Shankara Acharya to Madhusudan Saraswati Lokmanya Tilak Mahatma Gandhi Vinoba Bhave Swami Shivanand Swami Chinmayanand Swami Ramsuk Das to his divine grace AC Bhakti Vedant Swami Prabhupad all these great personalities saints have given and propagated this message of Gita for all of us so let us pick up the Bhagavad Gita today and read this timeless message given to us by Swayam Bhagwan Shri Krishna namaskar <laughs> 